Hi there and welcome. So in this video I'll be demonstrating how you stake out a known position that you've already entered into the machine. Now to get to here you go to the main screen and then you click on the stake button. There's many different methods of staking uh, known points uh, that you have in your uh, total station such as lines through known points and offsets from those lines which can be very useful setting out grid lines and other things. But for, for, this, for the purposes of this video we'll be simply setting out a single point. Now I know that just in front of me there is the corner of the building which is uh, grid on grid line A1. So what you could do in this situation if you're in a large field with very few points is just click on that design point there and then nearest point and that will the machine will through uh, the points you've already put on here find out where you are find the nearest point and automatically uh, help you stake that however we don't want to do that because there's quite a few points around here and it, we could end up setting out something which is uh, very close to me which is, has nothing to do with the corner of the building so we're going into design point now we'll click on this little box and I know for the purposes of this job that grid line is A1 and because it's a corner C so A1C if I click the tick it knows it's there if, it, if that wasn't the coordinate uh, or a known point uh, it would have fired up a warning message um, and uh, you would have known obviously that that, that was wrong so an alternative method yeah, you could do is click on this button here and this will fire up the map of um, all the points that you've entered in. So I've got quite a few here um, and some long words which, is, which means um, it fills the screen quite a lot and you can't really see very well. Uh, but with the benefit of using layers, which uh, you'll find in another one of my videos, you can get rid of surveys and other information and just uh, highlight or show the points that you want. So we've chosen our design point A1C, the height of the receiver is still at 1.5 and that's very important for this purpose as it will tell us how high we need to fill the position or how low we need to cut. So that's what we need to do, we'll now press stake, let the system load and we'll click on the padlock so that the machine can find us, uh, which it has done and in this screen here you can see that I need to go in that direction so towards the total station and just to the right a little bit we can see here in this section um, various uh, bits of information so at the moment we need to go down 600 and that's at this position here which is 7.46 meters away from the total station and um, 1.2 meters to the left of the point we need to go so in order to get to that point, we just reverse that, we need to go towards the total station 7.4 and right 1.2, very simple. So with that in mind, we will move forwards, Look, always looking as well where we're going. And I'm not sure if you can quite see that, but at the moment we need to still continue going forwards 2 meters and to the right 900. So one, two, and right 900, which lands is about there. And we need to go towards the total station 400 and right still 300. So how does that look? Okay, now that little popping noise there lets you know that you are very close to your position. Now we can start lining up the bubble as best as we can in the center there and looking where we need to go. So we are 30 millimeters towards and right 29 millimeters, which is really very little. So probably there, that might even be too much. Line the dot up again, and we still need to go forwards 30 mil. So delicately line it up and you can see there we're now 8 mil towards and 14 mil to the right so we can just nudge it along a bit forwards and there you can see there we have it 0011 which is pretty good for a muck ship so at this point you can uh, click the enter button again 
uh, and that will save the location it will tell the system it knows you've staked that point um, or I don't really tend to do this I usually just find my position there put a little hole into the ground as you can see there and then with some spray spray that out and then a little later on come back with a stake uh, and uh, hammer it in so that the ground workers uh, can work to the building corner okay thank you very much any questions or comments just put them below